Okay. Rudresh is asking, do you consider Kazakhstan as a more progressive Muslim country more than Tunisia? Okay, this question doesn't fully make sense to me because um, do you mean Kazakhstan as a state or the opinions of its people? Because as a state, like it's an autocracy. Yeah. Like it's not progressive at all. They have like cotton slavery. Like it's not it's not good over there. It's not in any shape progressive. Yeah, they have literal and, slavery. You're right. In terms of the um uh opinions and beliefs and uh practices of the population um i don't know a lot about this partially because there's not a lot of information that comes out of kazakhstan because it's an autocracy um but i do or know we, that there we is just a don't know por there's a per there's a significant portion of the um population that is atheist but that's a holdover from uh the soviet union so I don't know if we have enough so Rudish, information. Rudish is clarifying. Rudish is clarifying. He's saying he's saying he means the Kazakh people. So I don't know. I, I'm actually ignorant about that. So he's not talking about the the government. He's talking about the people. He people's religious opinions. Um, I don't know. I actually would assume that it is. I mean, I would assume like Kazakhstan's uh, people are less religious than like maybe. I mean, they're obviously less religious, religious than I don't know, Pakistan, <laughs> right? Um, but compared to Tunisia, that's like a very hard question. Like, I would not know. There's, I would not know uh, if the people of Kazakhstan are more progressive ideologically. Their people compared to in Tunisia. That's something that I would, I would not have an answer for. Because we were talking about the cotton slavery. Cotton slavery is a uh, Kazakhstan, not uh, wait, it's uh, so sorry, it's, it's not it's not Kazakhstan, it's Turkmenistan. I There's think Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. Okay. They've only recently have some changes to it, and I'm. Oh yeah, I think it's Uzbekistan that's actually seventy percent no, sure that Kazakhstan had a similar problem, but I think I'm looking at it. Not, it's neither. It's neither Turkmenistan or Kazakhstan. I think it's Uzbekistan that has the cotton slavery. It wasn't exclusively as think... Uzbekistan. I remember looking at this it... up before. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that Kazakhstan has child slavery, not cotton slavery. Oh, excuse <laughs> so, me. <laughs> I think we got the slavery wrong. Well, yes. in Uzbekistan, the cotton slavery is also child slavery. It's a problem throughout Central Asia. Yeah, but I think the worst the one is I think Asians. Uzbekistan is known more for that. It's, I think like I think DS is also I'm not sure. Yeah, we have to look into that. No, that's what I was saying. Uzbekistan, it's the worst, but this isn't exclusive yeah. to Uzbekistan. I've looked into this before. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's not exclusive. I'm just not seeing anything about cotton slavery in Kazakhstan. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing a lot of child slavery. I know that those three countries depend very heavily on the cotton industry and they substitute that <laughs> they have a history of subsidizing it through slavery atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues including judicial harassment and censorship Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.